Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Mingham. Very good. Okay, so today we're going to do a speaking test. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is ask you for six find the differences, okay? Okay. Between the two. And for example, number one. Picture one, there is some magazines on the table, but picture two, there is a cake on the table. Very good. Picture one, the girl, the woman is holding a comb, but picture two, she is holding a scissor. Okay, number three. In picture one, the man is wearing a blue striped t-shirt, but picture two, he is wearing a red stripe. And picture one, the woman in front of the computer is looking at it, but picture two, she's like listening to some weird telephone. Okay, cool. and, and picture one, there's a lot of books in a box, but picture two, there's nothing. Picture one, in front of the toy box, there's nothing, but picture two, in front of it, there's a train. Okay, five. And picture one, the man is holding a tray that and on there, there's two glasses of juice, but picture two, he's holding a bowl full of fruit. Okay, number six. Uh, and picture one, the clock is round, and picture two, it is uh, square. Okay, very good. So now we move on to the second part. So I'm going to give you one, and I'm going to have one, and we are going to ask each other questions, okay? okay? So for example, who, what, when, where, and how, okay? Okay. So I will start first, and I will say, what is the name of Sarah's favorite restaurant? It's Rainbows. Okay, very good. Now you ask me a question. What is Robert like eating? What does? What does he like eating? Okay. He likes eating pasta. Okay. What does Sarah like eating? She's like eating pizza. She likes. She likes eating pizza. Okay, very good. And where is Sarah's favorite restaurant? It's on Hill Street. Okay, very good. What time does Robert's favorite restaurant open? It opens at 12 o'clock. Okay. Is Sarah's favorite restaurant cheap or expensive? It is cheap. Okay, very good. How about me? Last question. Is Robert's favorite restaurant cheap or expensive? It's expensive. Do you like expensive restaurants? No, but I don't really share because I don't usually go to a restaurant. Okay, very good. So now we're going to move on to the last part, which is called the brave teacher. I'm going to ask you to help me look at one, two, three, four, and five, and just tell me a little bit about each part. Okay. The name of the picture is... The name of the picture is Blinkin Ann. The, the bright teacher. And the two characters are? Blinkin Ann. Okay. First of all, where are they? They are in the classroom. <coughs> and Nick and Ann are looking out of the window. Very right. good. Picture two? The teacher said, look weird, so she came out. She come out and Nick and Anna told me that there's something on the tree. All of the students in the class stand stand behind the window and there's a cat on the tree. The 
teacher could go out, she climbed the tree, rescued the cat. She comes down and all of the students standing all around her and cheering for her, their brave teacher. Okay, do you like the story? Uh, yes. Why do you like the story? <coughs> because the teacher is very brave and kind. I think if I'm her, I'm going to be Very good. Okay, so now we move on to the last part, which is, I have to ask you four questions. Okay, the first question I'm going to ask you is, what, tell me about last summer. Last summer? Last summer. Where did you go? I went to my grand, <coughs> to my grandfather's home and I met him. I went fishing with him and with my brother too. Wow, very, very cool. And can you tell me about how do you get along with your friends? I always talk. I always talk to them <coughs> when they feel sad. I always ask them, and we always share things. Okay, very good. Um. Okay, how is traveling and communication different from long, long time ago? Like when your parents or grandparents used to travel? Oh, a long time ago, people don't have planes or boats to travel. They, they don't have cars too. They, they will have to walk to, to a very far place and, they, and it will take them a month. Wow. <coughs> and uh, with communicate, a long time ago they don't have phones, maybe they have, but a long time ago they usually use letters. Okay. Very good. And the last question. What are some rules at your school? We need to raise our hand if we want to talk something. We need to be polite. We can we can t talk in our class and we always need to we always need to give things to teacher by two hands okay very good good, good job